What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. Yet another dunk review. This has been the year of dunk reviews. And here it is, the latest dunk to drop from Nike. I will be reviewing the Nike Dunk Low in the Purple Pulse colorway. So what's good guys, I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I will be breaking down these shoes. We'll talk about the materials. They are quite different than a lot of the recent GR dunks we have been seeing this year. We'll talk about the colorway. We'll get into the prices of what these are going for right now. And of course, as always, I will be giving you that on feet look. So make sure you stick around until the end of this video. So the Nike Dunk Low Purple Pulse. So this sneaker dropped as part of a two pack release on the same day. We also had this other pair drop. This was called the Yellow Strike. And I gotta be honest, this colorway looks extremely similar to a dunk we saw drop earlier in the year, the Lemon Drop pair. Out of the two of them, I thought this was the better colorway, the more unique of the two. And let's get into that colorway. So this sneaker, the base layer is done in white, but some of the panels of the sneaker features light hits of purple. It almost gives the shoe kind of like a cloud-like type of look. It reminds me very much of that Jordan 1 Hyper Royal pair that dropped earlier this year. That sneaker featured a very similar cloudy type of look on the shoe. The swoosh on the sneaker is done in suede and it's done in that purple pulse color. You also have more of that purple on the back of the sneaker on the Nike logo. It is stitched into the shoe. Overall, very clean colorway. Can be mad at the colorway. A nice summertime shoe. But let's get into the materials. You know we've been complaining about the quality of the GR Dunks this year. They have been very, very poor. Are these any different? Yes, they are. First of all, you can see visually the leather does appear to look tumbled. But when you press on this leather, it certainly doesn't feel like tumble leather. It still pretty much feels like plastic to me. You can see the leather has pretty much no give to it. It does feel quite stiff. I will say this leather is a bit of an upgrade over the regular dunks. It does feel a bit more durable. Also, you do get some suede on the swoosh and the tongue is done in mesh. So compared to some of the other dunks, you're getting quite a bit of different materials on this. The sneaker was in fact a woman's release. It went up to a woman's 12, which is a 10 and a half in men's. If you are a big feet gang like myself, well, you're out of luck. For those of you who have never worn a pair of dunks before, just go with your true size. It's whatever you fit in Jordan 1s or Jordan 1 lows. If you're comparing it to an Air Force One, which is a pretty similar shoe, and let's be honest, dunks have kind of replaced Air Force Ones this year as probably the most go-to sneaker. In Air Force Ones, I usually go down half a size. I wear a 10 and a half in Air Force Ones and 11 in Dunk, so I suggest doing the same going up a half size from whatever your Air Force One size is. Of course, these Dunks are pretty hard to get, but let's look at what the prices are going for right now on the resale market. The bigger sizes, since they were pretty limited, they're going for a much higher amount. The women's sizes are also pretty high. However, you can tell that the prices of Dunks have started to come down a little bit because these prices for this pair are much lower than some of the Dunks we've seen earlier in the year. I think we're at a point now with Dunks where the supply seems to be meeting the demand quite well so that's why the prices haven't really jumped too much but they haven't really dropped either so if you're looking to buy i think whether you buy right now or whether you wait i don't think you're going to be saving too much money but i don't think you would be spending a lot more either so if you're kind of unsure on the pair you can definitely take your time to decide whether you still want it i don't see the prices changing too much i do think however compared to some of the other dunks the prices on these are pretty reasonable i think it's a pretty good deal what are my overall thoughts on the sneaker the nike dunk low in the purple pulse colorway i think if you are one of the people who have yet to buy a pair of dunks you've seen your friends wearing them you kind of want to get your own now but maybe the prices were too high i think these are a decent option because the prices are lower than others and i also think it's a pretty nice colorway and quite different from some of the other releases they're not really for me though i just feel like this colorway is more for a younger crowd so it's a good clean shoe just not for me personally don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. It really helps me out. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. The on feed dropping right now. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.